Kevin Stefanski is almost under the radar right now, or we're just taking it for granted that the freaking Cleveland Browns are 10 and 3. The freaking 10 and 4. They are that the Browns are 10 and 4. And Mayfield makes quick decisions. The ball comes out and knows where it needs to be. He's balancing that ground game extraordinarily well. Last night, Mayfield against a very good pass rush of the Giants throws 27 to 32 for nearly 300 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. His quarterback rating last night was a 126. Damn near perfect. The Cleveland Browns offensive line was phenomenal all night long against that really strong Giants pass rush. And then on defense, the Giants had some questionable, aggressive play calling by Freddie Kitchens deep in the red zone. That botched fake play, non-fake play on the first drive. Went for it again on the third time they were in the red zone. And the, the Cleveland Browns defense bowed its back and held. Again, beating the Giants, who are just 5-9, and nine, is not exactly winning a Super Bowl. It's not exactly beating the Chiefs or the Packers. But the Cleveland Browns right now being 10-4. and four, Baker turning the corner in his career. The balance on this offense. The discipline that the Browns show. These are all things we have not seen in Browns land in 30 years. You've got to go back to the early 90s. To the last time this franchise looked like this. Damn, this is impressive. It is astounding. It is really astounding to just know the Browns are a legitimate football team. And so much of that is just simply that they found the right head coach. Stefanski wasn't a sexy hire. Stefanski wasn't one of these guys that everybody drools over in the interview process. He's just a smart, young, bright football guy and that's what the Browns needed smart young bright football guy and boy what can you say the freaking Cleveland Browns have 10 wins with two games to go my oh my